It's fine. Like, not look at yourself and be like, hey. I know, oh, right? Are we recording? Yeah, we are. Oh. Look, <laughs> Ashley did my makeup. And, oh, they were like. It's not as. And my hair. But it was so good. It was like, it was like porn good. Now you look like your Rocky Horror Picture Show. I totally look like Magenta. No, I look like Magenta the day after. Who's Magenta? She's the girl with the big red curly hair. In, oh, in I've Rocky never Horror. seen it, but I <laughs> Are you lying? Are you serious? <laughs> My cousin played in it, but somebody had to eat a cookie off of her hootie hoot, and our grandma went, and that was an awkward time. Oh my god. Okay, wait. This is actually supposed to be the um, spooktacular tag. However, since we're talking about Rocky Horror, I'll just tell you. Um, okay, I got into some messy stuff when I was young. But one of the things is when you would go to the Rocky Horror for the first time, you were a virgin and they right. would auction you off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I went for a lot of cigarettes. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was a sparkle monkey then, and uh, but it was pretty serious. Yeah, your makeup's a little hot mess right what now. What about this? What about it's okay? Look, I'm gonna be my mom real quick, right? One day I'm like, "Mama, what are you doing with your hair?" She's like, "Oh my god, I found this product." My mama has hair thinner than mine, and she really likes big hair. Oh wait, you're about to die when you see what I'm doing. <laughs> and she goes, "It's the best." I just I put it in my hair, I sprinkle it in, and then I go like this, and I go wink. Wink, wink. With her finger? And that's, that's what her hair did. <laughs> I mean, she, you only my did. mom's hair is that long. So it was like, it was like, she drew a piece straight, straight up. up. I was like, mama, no, I don't do that. No. <laughs> you're lucky you're married Can already. we explain why you look really nice and I look like I just rolled out of a I look a really nice. You know? Well, okay, we'll go with really nice. I look like I used to look really nice a couple of hours ago because I did. But that's that's because um, that's because I'm like not the beautician. Before she wobbled, I did. No, it's because I'm sick. She is sick, and the banana is too. Yeah. The banana came home after getting two shots in the butt. Oh, she and she's got in the butt. Yeah, and she's got lots of medicines. She's got the flu. And Ashley, I think, is on her way there. Which means that after tomorrow, she'll be quarantined. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I did. I dropped it like I was hot, and then and then I and then I, I broke it. Yeah, a little. You did. You wobbled. I I I wobbled, baby, wobbled, baby, twerk it. <laughs> there was some little like, cause those ladies like out. Okay, can we explain what we we just went trick or treating? Happy Halloween. Which is going to answer um what, tag we're supposed to be doing number right? one. Yeah. Do you still trick or treat? Somebody just knock on the window. I swear to fucking God, Ashley, <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> okay, do you still trick or treat? Um, currently, I trick or treat because I have children. I don't have babies, so I have to. But she did this year. Yeah, I don't get. Well, I did eat some candy. Hey, but I, I didn't get any. Although there were like twenty year olds out there getting candy. Yes, I there were. That. And they weren't even dressed up. No. Here's my situation. If you're going to trick or treat at an inappropriate age, dress the hell up. I mean, like a baby doll. I want. They had some adults had some really awesome costumes like that. Effie Trinket. Yeah, she looked like her. Eyelashes and all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She went all out for it. Mm -hmm. And they're always the ones that have like two month old babies. What the hell are you doing? Your baby ain't gonna do nothing. Okay, that's another thing. Look. First Halloween, this is just me telling you how to live your life. Ready? The first Halloween, <laughs> you dress your baby up. Some cute Halloween ideas. Baby skeletons, precious. Peas in a pod. Adorable. Doesn't everybody do peas in a pod? I don't know, like but everybody. I personally feel like if I had a child that small again, they'd be a pea in the pod almost every day of their fucking lives. The tiny banana. Did you see the tiny banana? It was adorable. It was like it was like those little ones you pay extra money for. It was so cute. Um, it was a tiny banana. Like those things. A pumpkin is classic and cute. A kitten. Just you know, do something cute. Don't paint your two month old baby's face all up. No. Like a ghoul. No. Oh, and baby Madonna's not cute. But there was a baby Madonna. Did you not see the baby? I Madonna? I did not see the baby Madonna. It was like a like prostitute. Cone? 
Yes. Only it was an infant tot. Oh. An infant tot. It was ratchet. You, that's not even, it's not even funny, okay? And I think probably that child was not even being a baby Madonna. I think it was a baby Talos and Tiara kid. Mm. But it's still not funny. Uh, but anyway, so you, you dress your baby up and you take pictures and you scrapbook them or you share them on Facebook. But then let leave your fucking kid alone. Yeah. Like, did you see people just pushing, like, they're like tiny infants and they're pushing well, them. they had that one house where, I, we're walking up to it and there's a lot of people there and people are screaming so you know it's going to be bad. And then I see on the roof, there's a man laying down on the roof. What are you doing no, no nonsense. It's and nice. some people, like some ladies yelling at her child, like, it's over, stop crying. Yeah, totally. It's a three-year-old child that just got scared to death by Freddy Krueger right. in there. Like, where, where were you, Mom? Do your job. That's, it's ridiculous. Number two. Number two. Do you like going to haunted attractions? Yeah. We do. Yeah. When, you, when we have people, boys, to hold on to, that's a nice that's a fun time. Oh, we didn't talk to you guys. We went to the mortuary. Uh, no, we went to. We talked to you guys about the mortuary. Right. We went to the thirteenth gate. We brought a different boy, much better boy. Sometimes you gotta he, exchange. He did his job. He did a great job. I was attached to him like white on rice. And I made time. her. I made her do the death grab. She wanted to be in front of it. I was like, no, you gotta go behind and grab. See, when you like this, you control how much you can see. I saw sit. a lot more. See? Everybody was like, how did you see what you saw? Because I was peeking. Yeah. If I just have I to have go, to... I'm going to blindly grope mm-hmm. and scream. But if I can peek, I can see a lot. Like, I watch. At first, I was just, like, behind him. And within, like, 20 seconds, he grabbed my hand. He was like, hold on. <laughs> he had oh, been through it before. Yeah. So he knew things. But, but... He, it, he got scared. So it was the banana, and then it was me, and then it was Jeremiah, and then it was Ashley. And it was so funny because he was grabbing me and she was grabbing him. At one point, I could, like, feel her arms against me from him. But there were times when I straight up just stopped walking and, like... I almost fell down from that farting mammoth. When we walked in. Did you not hear me say it? I don't think you heard me say it. When yeah, we walked the lady in, behind me heard you say it. I was like, this shit's gonna fart on us. It was a giant mammoth and he farted right on me and I fell down almost. I could have... Took everybody out. It was very cool. It was so fun. Hey, Ash, number three. <laughs> what's your favorite Halloween candy? Anything. All of it. Nothing sour. Chocolate is good. No coconut. Anything <laughs> other than that. Reese's. I feel, I feel like... Yeah, I don't know when they say Halloween candy... I don't do the whole candy corn crap. Oh, fuck, man. That candy, those candy corn pumpkin things, I will fucking claw a bitch's eye out. But those are so fucking bad. Mm, I don't do that. I'm not selective. Exactly. I didn't eat my way to morbidly obese and then stay there for 10 years by being picky. We just... Basically, if it's anywhere, I would say 50% or more edible, I will eat it. <laughs> like those cupcakes that ladies t- I could have had one. Oh my God. I need dinner. No, we I didn't. But, but, but like, I mean, you teach your kids not to take open stuff and they're like giving out cupcakes and, and cookies. It used to be like that. Like the neighborhood used to be like that, but it's not like that anymore, honey. I don't it's know It's not you. the 1950s. I don't yeah. want my kid biting into a razor cupcake. Thanks. Yeah. All right, number four. Favorite Halloween movie? If we're talking scary, then I'd have to go with, like, the original Halloween. The cats are, like, having a party. Do you now see why in every one of my videos I'm like, fucking cats. Stop it! (laughs) He's such an asshole. (laughs) It's Um, Kenny. It's Kenny beating up somebody every single time, and I'm like, he's an asshole. He's riling them up. But if we're talking, like, cutesy Halloween movie, definitely Hocus Pocus. Okay. I am going to go with this. Oh, I answered... Damn it. What? <laughs> I answered number five. Oh, favorite <laughs> scary. Okay, Ashley just said four and five. Favorite Halloween movie, Hocus Pocus. Favorite mm-hmm. scary one, Halloween. Uh, I can tell you that I don't have a favorite um, because... 
I feel like a favorite is one you would watch again. And I absolutely would not watch any scary movie that I'm about to talk about again. But I'll tell you this. Uh, I grew up in a cult. And we weren't allowed to watch TV or anything like that. Like the TV we had was imported. And it was it was Salty the Singing Song Book. He was a hymn book. He was full of Jesus songs for any occasion. And he would... <laughs> <laughs> he would take kids on trips. And they would encounter problems a lot like Dora, but instead of consulting her so witch bag, it's, no, no, wait, instead of consulting her witch bag of trickery, Salty would open his books and we would Your sing mom until Dora we... the Explorer the witch bag of trickery? No, I'm saying that's what they would have called it. No, you know what they did do? We watched, um, oh, I'll use this one. We watched, uh, Care Bears. Like, a couple of families from the cult went to the movies. It was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And we paid to see Care Bears. And then the moms made us leave because when they did the Care Bear stare, they said that they were doing, like, devil worship. Anyway. Um, but what I was going to say was, so one night, I was, like, up. And I was being bad. I was probably, like, 16. Mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, 16. Okay. Now, other things have already happened. Right, but I was being bad. Other things, yeah. Have like I'm a, I'm a mini adult at this point. But I'm watching TV by myself, and it's USA, and I'm like, I'm gonna watch this shit. And it was scary movies around Halloween time, and um, in terror, 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 I watched Carrie, Ooh. and I was so damn scared to turn off the TV that I then accidentally watched um, The Shining, mm. and then Psycho. Classic. And every single one of those damaged me on a level that I don't know. But I would say those were the scariest movies I've ever seen. And I'm going to go with they ha one of those has to be my favorite. I think that I think that um, The Shining is my favorite scary movie. Because mm. he just goes nuts. And as far as Halloween movie, I'm going to go with Care Bears. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they do devil worship, that's got to be a Halloween thing, right? Right. Okay. Totally. All right. Okay. Care Bears. <laughs> Number six, favorite costume you ever wore as a child? Punky fucking Brewster, bitches. You went as Punky Brewster? I would, can you, okay, hold on. This is what I'm wearing, okay? Yeah. And, yeah, and, and I was like, whatever, just do me, and this is what she did. Just do me. Yes, I'm just a grown-up Punky Brewster. I was yeah. Punky Brewster. That's true. Every flipping year until I stopped dressing up. And you know what? I had her stuffed dog, Brandon, and I took him with me every fucking year. I don't know if I had a favorite costume. They were never like, I was never very creative. Oh, see, with Punky Brewster, since I already dressed like a little crazy kid, I just tied bandanas right. on my knees and stuff. Anyway. Probably maybe Batman, because I wore that even after Halloween to like the grocery store and stuff. Batman? Mm -hmm. Not even Batgirl? Nope, I was Batman. Speaking of Batgirl, we saw some things, and let me just say, oh. I know that and this is coming from somebody who has the right to say this. Yeah. I, a fat person. I am a fat person. I might not still be in that body, but I have the right to say this. Um, I believe we should all love ourselves and feel pride in ourselves and not hide just because we are large. I also believe that just because you can get some your body into a costume doesn't mean you need to wear it. One. And two. Wear, your, wear it for your, wear your size. Yeah. And if they make your size, but it's spandex. That doesn't mean it's your size. And if you feel like you have to put that on, you put it on in the privacy of your home for the entertainment of your partner. I mean, did you see Superwoman? I did. Yeah, she was nice looking. Superwoman? Did you see that goddess lady who I thought... When I turned and looked at you and I said, that costume is not supposed to be skin tight. She had a Grecian gown on and it was... Skin flipping tight, and she had the biggest sauce they and made. And she was like leaning back, like she couldn't carry out. With her. All I'm saying is dress appropriate, and this yeah. goes even for small girls because I'll tell you this: if you're like not rock solid, and who is? Come on, and you're a size four. If you put yourself in something that's like too flipping tight, you're gonna make yourself look chunkier than your size four. That's all I'm saying is it needs to be size appropriate. Yeah, so. Um, first costume you can remember wearing. G.I. Jane. I think I was like two. Who is thinking out Ashley? I know. Like, I, I was a big tomboy until I was about 
six or seven. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I was G.I. Jane when I was like two. I don't know. Does, I does, picture it, does it have to be for Halloween? Graphic. Since we're talking about Halloween. My first memory of a costume came from Mardi Gras. Oh. You dressed up for Mardi Gras? Yeah, girl, we used to. I mean, still people do, but we used to. But I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to be. I had corduroy pants on and a pink princess dress and a crown made out of cardboard and some other crazy craps, like, all, like, so... My mom was a big I'll-make-it-myself person. (laughs) I don't know what I was. That's the first thing I remember her putting me in, though. Oh. Hmm. I remember the tennis shoes the most because I hated them. Um... (laughs) Favorite fall food and beverage? Fall food? Like pumpkin sauce? Anything pumpkin. Mm, Yeah. But. Pumpkin bread, pumpkin bars, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin cake, pumpkin cupcakes, spice cake. I mean, I don't know. Is that like my favorite food that I will still eat? In the fall, like that's turkey. I really like squash. Ooh, squash is good. I, mean, I like everything. I like food. There again, 50% or more edible. And beverage, fall beverage. That pumpkin spice tea is pretty amazing. I should try that cookie sleigh ride tea crop tomorrow. Have you and not I tried it yet? Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. I've got a friend. Here. Um, favorite fall drink? I'm gonna go. If, if it doesn't have to be something we currently yeah. still indulge in, I'm going to go with, uh, um, what is it? Starbucks? The pumpkin I've never tried frappuccino? Those, don't. I'm, there's like a pumpkin frappuccino thing. What are you doing, Kenny? Um, and then favorite fall food? Uh, so squash. Like squash. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with that. Um, do you have a festive background on your phone? I do. I have a Halloween background. No, you don't, really? Yeah. I do not. See? I have a picture of Yay. Banana doing something crazy, because... Like, ha! Ah. That's what she does. She <laughs> takes some kind of, like, crazy picture. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah, what's up? That's my shoulder. She takes a crazy picture, and then she sets it as my background. See? <laughs> How does... How do we talk for 17 minutes? I don't even... We're, I'm like... Oh, that's what we do. Um, what are you going to dress up as this year? Oh, well, I was going to be a dead person. I was going to put some liquid latex on my face, create some wounds and things. And then I got sick and I was like... And then I was trying to use this gel blood to put on me... You had to like liquefy it and all this crap. It was too much. Like work. microwave the gel blood. Like why not? Yo, yeah, no, you had to put it in the hot water bath and wait for. And I was like, too much work. Psycho. What are you doing? Yeah, um, Can I you... am dressed up, and I am. Um... See him? Do you see him? You can't see him. He loves. <laughs> they can see like him barely. <laughs> <laughs> He's so giant. Ah! He's having Daddy. a fun time. Ah, hello. I'm Sonya Amplified, and yeah. or a trashy, slutty, older, never got over herself rainbow bright babe. Modern rainbow bright. I'm a modern okay. rainbow bright. What? That's literally a... What would your pet be for Halloween? OMG. Why? We should have dressed up Wiley. Um. And all billion of your. What gigas. he's gonna be next year? Because. Hopefully, I will invest in this earlier. Is they have those costumes that go around their neck? Have you seen this? And they have arms, and they like mount to their front feet. So coming down the street, they look like a man, like with arms. <laughs> He's gonna be um, Superman, and I'm gonna be Wonder Woman. Well, I've seen some where they have like things that strap over them. It looks like a little cowboy right now. Uh huh. Or maybe he could be Batman, and I could be Poison Ivy. Oh, that would be epic. If I can learn how to do my hair. Right, yeah. Because, cause, yeah, I had totally... Oh, this is awesome. It's like, what? <laughs> Who's on coke? <laughs> <laughs> um, Twelve. Oh, okay. <laughs> what candy do you have left in your stash after you eat everything else? Nothing. 
Mm -mm. Sour stuff, maybe, but I'll just throw it away. You wouldn't eventually eat it? Uh, I might try. I would have nothing. I will tell you in just a minute. <laughs> yeah, not, I would eat it all. Um, do you decorate your house? I do. I do too. My house is decorated even though I'm not there. Um, Oregon's having a lonely Halloween. Her house is decorated. It is. Here's what I don't understand. Number one, New Orleans people. Why are you going to decorate your porch and then be like, oh my hand out candy? Don't decorate. Honey. Don't there, decorate. Because the porch light tells you, you that you can go there. But you have to there. judge what porch light should so be I pointed to I was like, let's like, see those. Those don't count. Like, I just, it's so complicated. You're going to have your whole entire house lit up. Your whole entire porch decorated. Your, and then, yeah. like, your two side spotters on. Uh -huh. But you leave your little, like, your little. Or you turn it purple and be like, oh, that doesn't count. It's psycho. That's stupid. And this is weird. Um. Like, they block off, like, three or four streets and just trick-or-treat on those streets. Like, Okay, no, 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 That's That just, that happened because of the storm. Okay. Right, but it's happened for the last seven years. That's because like, nobody's around. Like, yeah. half of those houses are empty. That's why they're not... Yeah, like, at my, at home, you just trick-or-treat everywhere. Yeah. You have to kind of watch out, though. Most people go to the malls because you don't know what you're going to get. But... Yes! Okay. Hold on. Sorry about that. The banana is very ill. Heath? Ooh. I know. Lula. New favorite Halloween candy because <laughs> it's what I have in my hand. Um, okay. Uh, pumpkin patches, corn mazes, or hay rot. I thought it said hydrangeas or something. <laughs> I was like, what? Um... Go on. What's up? Fucker. See, this is this is how you know it's a back of channel. Can I taste it? it? Smells minty. When it's like, hi, here's a video of me eating. <laughs> I would say. Pumpkin patches, because it's not scary. Um, yeah, me too. I've I'm never done a corn maze, but I'm too afraid. Okay, well, here's the thing. They have pumpkin patches, corn mazes, and hay rides, but they also have haunted pumpkin patches, haunted corn mazes, and haunted hay rides. haunted pumpkin patches? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so it's kind of like let's go to the G-rated friendly haunted or non-haunted yeah pumpkin we'll just go pick out a pumpkin at a grocery store and smile <laughs> right I like pumpkin patches because I can take lots of pictures of my kids and because there's usually hay rides there but not haunted ones. hey no not haunted number 15 is the last one. Oh my god it's only been a billion not minutes going to a corn maze what do you wear Hello, you wear your rainbow tights? Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, woo! You wear some tennis shoes in case you need to run. Run. You wear a sweatshirt because it's probably cold. And you wear a man. A nice, hot looking man that you can grab onto. Not the kind of man that's gonna shove you in front of him and be like, hoo hoo hoo, it's funny. No, because we saw those types of men. You don't, you don't wear one of them. You wear something really cute. And it's okay if you don't know this man and it's the first time meeting him. It's yeah. alright. It, sometimes it works. I like to Very think well. of it as... Wait, are you... See, these questions are so hard because it's, are you single? If you're single, wear something slutty. Hello, ladies. You know that's how you get somebody. <laughs> no. no, I mean, it's just, it's, you know, I don't know. Wear a costume. That's always fun. Um, I I would say a corn maze. I've never been in one, so I don't know. I'm but assuming it'd be freezing because up near us it would be really cold. Yeah, but down here it wouldn't. Yeah, that's true. So that uh, we have decided that this is relative to where you're from. Yeah. Um, if you're in like Alaska, 
wear Bundle. an Eskimo outfit. If you're somewhere along the equator, then bikini. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to go with, no, I, actually, I, it's a corn maze. I've never been in a corn maze, but I've been in corn fields, and they usually have a lot of bugs. So mm. wear some off. Yeah. Uh, throw on some jeans. <laughs> and wear a man. D- yeah, br- bring a boy or a dyke. Yeah. And if you don't like that word, it's meant in love. They both work. They worked very well. They did. Mm -hmm. The dyke was the best, actually. Two experiences, and she's the person who went first and butched it up the hardest. And was like, yeah, because even in the second one, Jeremy was like, (laughs) Jeremy's a big, tough, big, tough dude. He was holding on to her like he was Yeah. And he was hopping around. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. But he did well. He did. He did really good. good. He did do good. It was awesome. So... There you go. And I think I'm supposed to eat something that's probably oh, sour. Oh, it okay. is. Isabella! <laughs> Bring me whatever it is you want me to consume on camera. My foot is numb. What happened? Is it from the way you're sitting? When I was sitting earlier for Ashley to do this to my hair. Not this. What Ashley actually did was really cute, but... Okay, okay. You have to sit. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to open it. Oh, a piece. Hold on. What did you see on it? I didn't see anything. I saw me on the iPad. Oh. Sounds like something. Just eat it. Wait a second. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Take a look. Oh. <laughs> a flipping warhead. Chewy one though. I she doesn't do well with these. They I'm give t- me like, oh! <laughs> I told you, mommy, you'd swallow something like that whole before. They make her ache. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know that. Oh! That's <laughs> <Are you> okay. <laughs> <laughs> So tasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. I have a very strong reaction in the in the cheese. To warheads. Mm-hmm. Oh, fifty calories for five pieces. That is ten calories worth of sour, sour yuckness. <laughs> Can you not count the calories Ooh. now that you took it out of your mouth? Because you're not going to consume it. <laughs> it actually tastes good now, Belle, so mm. I don't want to chew it, though. It's, it's kind of weird and gelatinous. <laughs> also, it's a picture of what we had in there. Very cool. Whoop. All right, honey. We'll see you in a minute. I'm going to bring the camera in there. Mm. Y'all going to get to see their costumes real quick. I think they're still in costume. Actually, I think the bat took off her wings because they were upside down. Flying in circles. The whole time? Yes. <laughs> oh, well. Like, oh, whatever. It's all good. Half the costume was gone anyway. Yeah. And Isabella's mm-hmm. costume was gone. Yeah. She had no tail. No. She just had her mask and on. And the hat didn't work out. No. It's so us. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Totally. <laughs>